Students, in this video, I will answer you question number 6 from Statistics 1 Pearson and Excel A level exam. This exam was taken in January 2024. The events A and B satisfy probability of A equals to X, probability of B equals to Y, probability of A union B equals to 0 0.6Y, probability of B given that A equals to 0 0.3. Show that 14X plus 20Y equals to 30. This is of 3 marks. First part. Let me write the formula for you guys uh, for, for probability of A union B. Probability of A union B formula is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. This is the standard formula for probability of A union B if the events are not mutually exclusive. If they are mutually exclusive then A intersection B is zero. But here it is not mentioned so we will consider the standard formula for probability of A union B. So we have all the, the stuff, uh, all the values given here in the question. Probability of A is given, B is given, A union B is as, given as well. But, but probability of A intersection B is not given. We could find this probability from this uh, this value. Let me start with this uh, by finding probability of A intersection B from this one. Uh, here space is given. So let me write over here probability of uh, B given that A is equals to zero point. 0.3 so implies that if you remember formula for this one the conditional probability that is equals to probability of uh, B intersection A divided by probability of A this is the formula for conditional probability okay we will replace with this in its formula so it will be equals to 0.3 and probability of A will multiply over here and you know that this value probability of A is X. So that value X will multiply on the right side. So probability of uh, B intersection A will be equals to 0 0.3 into X. Or you can mention here probability of A as, as is. Then in the next step you can get. So there is, there is no difference between probability of A intersection B and probability of B intersection A. So you can replace it with probability of A intersection B on the left side. And here you can replace the value of A probability of it. So it will be 0.3x. Now we will write the formula for probability of A union B that is equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. We have uh, all the values okay, given in the question and we already found the probability of A intersection B as well. Probability of A union B is 0 0.65. So we'll write over here 0.6y and probability of A is x and probability of y uh, b is uh, y minus 0.3x. Solving these two, you get the answer because they are like terms. We'll solve them together. This is 1 here, 1 minus 0.3, it is equals to 0.7x plus y. And on the left side, it is 0.6y. Let's move back to the question. There are no decimals given. Therefore, we have to remove the decimal. How could you uh, remove the decimals from here? Just multiply by 100. Multiply by 100. Okay. So this is the easiest way because there are two decimal places. So to get rid of this decimal place, you, you just multiply by 100. So it will be easy to solve. Then this will be equals to 70x and plus 100y. Now you simplify because every term is divisible by 5 you can write as is divide by 5 so this will be equals to 13 and this is equals to 14x plus 20y therefore we can write as 14x plus 20y equals to 13 so this is as required in the question first part is done uh, hopefully you understand it now for the next part the events B and C are mutually exclusive, as I told you earlier, for mutually exclusive, A intersection B is 0. Now, uh, probability of B union C is given there, that is equal to 0 0.85, and probability of uh, C is given, that is 1 over 2x plus y. Find a second equation in x and y. First equation, we already found it uh, here in the first part. Second equation, we can find by using uh, this information. Let me start second part. Second part. Probability of B union C is equals to 
जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव इंप्लाइज दैट यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर दिस वन दैट इज इक्वल टू प्रॉबर्टी ऑफ बी प्लस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ सी माइनस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी इंटरसेक्शन सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव told you earlier that uh, if the events are mutually exclusive then intersection part will be zero you can write over here probability of uh, b intersection c is zero and now plug in the values for probability of b that is y and probability of c is 1 over 2x plus y so probability of b is y and uh, probability probability of c is 1 over 2x plus y and this one is zero so leave as uh, without we will not write that one 0.85 y and y will be solved together so it will be 1 over 2x plus 2y equals to 0.85 better you get rid of the denominator multiply by 2 multiply by 2 so it will be x plus 4y equals to 1.7 even though you can get rid of uh, this decimal part from here if you want to simplify more even though this answer is also acceptable so best thing because in the previous part there is no decimal so multiply uh, here we will write the equation uh, without decimal multiply by 10 uh, to get rid of this decimal okay so it will be 10x plus 40y equals to 70 so this is the second equation for uh, first part of second part b so first part is done uh, let me name this as second equation this is the equation number 2 and uh, this one is equation number 1 uh, better you write it clearly this is 13 okay 14x plus 20y equals to 13 okay now we will solve these two equations simultaneously to solve this one you have to take the same coefficients for second part let me write the other equation here as a 14x plus 20y equals to 30 20y equals to 30 okay so this is the first equation now uh, because here you can make the coefficient of y same by multiplying this equation by uh, 2 let me correct it this is y so to make the same coefficients for these two equation just multiply this equation by 2 therefore this will be equals to 28 x plus 40y equals to 26 so put that equation over here 10x plus 40y equals to 17 then we will subtract these two equations this will be cancelled out 28 minus 10 is 18x, and this one will be equals to 9, and x will be equals to 9 divided by 18 is 0.5. So this is the answer for x. You can use any of one of the equation here. So I will plug in this in equation number two. This is equation number two. Substitute in equation two. So this will be equals to 10 into 0.5. Plus 40y equals to 17. This is 5. 5 goes to the other side. It will be subtracted. 40y will be equals to 17 minus 5 is 12. And y will be equals to 12 divided by 40. You simplify. So value of y will be equals to 0.3. So 0.3 is the answer for uh, y. so we solve the second part as well for the last part determine whether or not a and b are statistically independent you must show your working clearly we want to prove that a and b are independent or not if they are in independent uh, there is formula let me write the formula for you guys for c if a and b are independent then probability of uh, a intersection b is equals to probability of a multiply probability of b this is the formula for uh, independent events okay 
Now, first of all, let us find probability of A intersection B and uh, or either you can find probability of A and probability of B because we already found the value of X and Y. Therefore, we know the values for probability of A. Probability of A is equals to X and this will be equal to 0 0.5 and probability of B is equals to Y and that is equal to 0 0.3 and you can find, find out easily probability of A multiply probability of B on the right side. Okay. So, it will be equal to 0 0.5 multiplied 0 0.3, it will be equal to 0 0.15. Now, probability of A intersection B could be found from uh, the formula. Like probability of A union B is equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Okay. Now, we will bring this probability of A intersection B on the left side and we will re replace them actually. So, probability of uh, a intersection B will be equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A in union B. Probability of A is uh, 0 0.5 and probability of B is 0 0.3 and minus probability of A union B. Let me go back to the question. A union B is uh, 0 0.65. It is given in the question. Okay. 0 0.65. So, once you solve them, for sure you get the answer as 0 0.15. This shows that probability of A intersection B is equals to probability of A multiplied probability of B. You know, both are equals to 0 0.15. This one is equal to 0 0.15 and probability of intersection A is equal to 0 0.15. Therefore, we can say that both are equal. Uh, therefore, A and B are independent events. So, this is all about question number 6. If you have any question, any doubt, please write in the comment box. Uh, I will try to make it clear for you guys. Thank you so much.